Hi again. New features in Maya 2018. We've covered this, this, this. Oh, lovely. And uh, this. But not this and that. Because of my weakness in UV texturing. I'll skip the two of them. When we go through the sections here, curved surfaces, that's the NURBS section here. Oh, wonderful tools to create NURBS curves and surfaces. Uh, there's nothing new here, same with sculpting, rigging, animation, but in rendering we'll find this new icon. And I wonder why. Because uh, when you change your, uh, your uh, pull-down menu here, from uh, wherever it is to rendering, you get the render menu here, and the me render menu shows you render sequence. And the render sequence was uh, a new entry in Maya 2017, and basically this icon does the same. Um, maybe one click less. I don't know. Anyway, what does it do? Let's create a brief animation uh, with Arnold as a renderer. Arnold um, wants an Arnold light, and I usually like to start with a sky dome light. Uh, it just puts a huge dome of light. Uh, it wraps it around the whole scene, and uh, we don't have to do anything about it to get a nice lighting situation. And uh, now I introduce a, a polygon plane. I scale it up. I deactivate the grid because we have a grid now and now I add something which I want to animate and uh, let's take a spherical harmonics um, piece here move it up a little bit scale it up a little bit quite a bit and uh, here in the attribute editor we have uh, the parameters to change the spherical harmonics uh, settings that's what I'll uh, animate um, if you're not fami familiar with the animation uh, section down here, it uh, looks more complicated than it is. Currently it's set to an animation range from 1 to 120. And here you see this whole thing from 1 to 120. You can move here, then it goes to 200. Uh, that's a, just a scroll bar. Um, we want to animate from uh, 1 to, well, a brief section, very brief like uh, to 1 to 14. Now we have 1, 2, 3, up to 14. Mm, that's basically all there is. If we want to uh, reduce the whole uh, scrolling section, we can type in 14 here now. So this will be all we have. But we have to tell Maya that we're interested in rendering only 14 frames. Um, what do I mean by only? Uh, actually, it renders by default only a single frame here. That's the render settings. So use this pull-down menu, just take the next entry. It means we're rendering an animation now. And um, frame padding is 4, is, that's OK. And here is the crucial section from frame 1 to frame 14 in our case now. That's, that's, that's all about... It, it basically tells the renderer we want to render not just one frame, we want to run, render 14 frames from the very beginning. Now we have a range of 14 and we need to animate something and uh, I just uh, I go back to frame 1 and set a key for the vertical multiplier in the spherical harmonics. And then I go to the last frame 14 and just I just move this up a little bit just like this. Uh, because it's a very brief animation this should be animation enough but because it's uh, even more fancy if I use the H multiplier 1, um, that's set to whatever, now at frame 10 I think I was, and now I move it here, the slider here, and now this is the animation basically, tack, 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 very nice object, I must say. Uh, that's a really new thing in the polygon modeling section. Anyway, let's uh, do this uh, thing now. It opens the render win window and renders the first frame. Now, as you can see at the very bottom, 
it goes to frame 2, renders frame 2. Now it will move to fra frame 3. And as you can see, it, uh, the, the Arnold lighting is uh, quite nice. We basically did nothing to the light. We just used the default global illumination settings and uh, it does a wonderful little shadow. Of course we can uh, get rid of the grain, graininess, but that's not the purpose of this quick rendering here. In previous uh, versions of Maya you had to go through the batch rendering process in order to uh, render a sequence of frames, but here as you can see it goes pretty fast and if you choose a smaller size of the rendering uh, image, uh, of the rendered Im image, it will perform faster anyway. So we're almost done. Frame 10. Frame 11. And you see how much changes from one frame to another because this is such a sensitive parameter which we animated here with a few clicks. 12, 13, and now we're almost done. Look at that shadow and the self-illumination. If we had changed it to a red color, it would have looked even more beautiful. And now what you do is uh, this. You have the slider down here. Basically, it's the ordinary, the, the render view window we used to. And when we store the frames in, the, in that window, we get a slider here. And uh, the new um, rendering uh, icon here does that for us. It stores every single rendered uh, image. So we can scroll through the animation. That's my previous animation, which I tried basically with the same thing. It's just one after the other. We can... This is what we did, the 14 frames. Uh, we can just add another animation and uh, just... Uh, scroll it through here and get a preview and say well this is too fast we should go slower or whatever so that was all about that new entry which is not really new because it's related to the render sequence menu entry here which uh, was introduced in Maya 2017 enjoy <laughs>